everybody! Um, my name is Haley, and this is my first video on my Enchanted Daisy YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be using this channel for crafting ideas, um, sometimes organizational stuff, all that good jazz. So, um, my kind of philosophy with crafting is I don't really like crafting anything that I don't personally find useful. I find a lot of videos online and stuff of uh, crafting stuff that's just completely stupid. And, uh, sorry, my dog's walking around in the background. Um, Andy's right here. Uh, so, all the stuff that I plan on doing is stuff that I personally find useful or something that I find really beautiful because I think that brings, you know, value to my life. So, I had my whole family over for a cookout yesterday and it went great and everybody had a great time. Um, but I had just gotten a new picnic table and I immediately noticed some improvements that I could make. So there was one thing that um, I've never really had anybody over for a picnic or, you know, eating outside or anything like that. And I didn't have anything to carry any of my dishes in or any of, like, my silverware or anything. Um, so I thought I would make something to help me do that. Now, I don't always have a ton of money, so I don't like going out and buying stuff. And that's mostly why I craft is because um, there's a lot of stuff in stores that's really pretty, but it's really expensive. And so I would rather make it myself and make it personalized to me and be able to, you know, make it a lot cheaper. So what I'm going to do today is take some tin cans. Um, this is a really cheap craft if I, anybody has the supplies already. And the supplies, even that, aren't very expensive. Um, so I'm taking a couple of can, tin cans and I've got my washi tape. Um, if you don't have any washi tape, you can get it at Michael's, Joann's, um, any craft store really, they have it. It's big in the plannering world, but you can use it for tons of different stuff. So I'm going to first, I have four different cans, I'm going to wrap them up with washi, and then I'll show you what the next step is after that. Okay, so I went ahead and decorated my cans with washi tape. Uh, I used the same colors of washi tape for all four of my cans, I just kind of mixed up the order that I put them in. Um, I went off of this ribbon that I have. Um, that I thought was pretty cute, so I kind of matched the colors off of that. Uh, so a good technique that I did while I was putting the washi tape onto my cans, when I was wrapping it around, I started and ended at the same place, so all of my seams where the tape ended all ended at the same spot. And so my next step is going to be to hot glue all of them together, so they're going to end up being two and two, and I'm going to glue the two together. Um, and I'm going to glue it so all of the seams are together, so you can't see them from the outside. So I'm going to hot glue them together and get back with you and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I went ahead and hot glued them all together. Um, it's still a little messy right now because I haven't cleaned the hot glue off. Um, but this is, like I said, this is one of those crafts that's like super cheap, super easy. I saw I had four tin cans in my cupboard that I had saved away for a craft and then never done anything with. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. Um, a few tips if you're going to try this at home. Uh, what I first started doing, because I've never done this craft before, was I first tried to glue the entire tin can together. Like, I put a line of glue right down that way. Hi, Gimli. Um, I put a line of glue all the way down the two tin, tin cans and tried to smush them together. But the problem is the cans have this little lip on them. They have a lip at the bottom and a lip at the, or a lip at the bottom and a lip at the top. And, um, when you try and do that in the middle, the, so... Oh. When you try and put the glue line down the middle, um, the two ends don't, the two ends are meeting, but the middle part really isn't. So um, with the first two tin cans, I made the mistake of going all the way down and kind of looks a little bit funky on two of the sides. But for the other tin cans that I did was I only put a dot of glue at the top and a dot of glue at the bottom and smushed them together and that worked so much better. And besides, it makes it look a lot cleaner and you don't have the glue all the way down. Um, so another thing that I did is I put some ribbon, that home sweet home ribbon that I have, over the top so you can kind of carry it outside or whatever. Um, a suggestion that I have for that is if you happen to have wire and you could um, glue wire on with the ribbon, I would do that to make it a little bit more sturdy when you're carrying it. Um, the ribbon isn't super sturdy, but I didn't have any wire, so I'll carry it like this if I have to, you know. Um, but otherwise, I think it turned out really easy, or really good, really super easy. Um, if you guys don't like the washi tape, because not everybody has it or not everybody likes it, you can always paint them too. They're super easy to paint. You could do cute like watermelon design on it or whatever for summer. 
Um, I'm just lazy and I'm really sick of painting lately, so I just thought I'd washi tape it to do a nice quick craft uh, that I can go ahead and churn out pretty fast and I can use for the next time I have friends over. Um, so yeah, there's my first video on my first craft. Uh, if you guys like it, please like it. You know, press the little button or whatever. Uh, I'll hopefully be back next week with some more craft ideas.